Broadcasting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, you're listening to the Low Blow MMA Boxing Podcast. Jorge Hernandez with the Low Blow and Southwest Fight News here with Fidel Maldonado Jr. He's got a fight this weekend, October 27th at the Kiva Auditorium. You're headlining, man. How, do, how does that feel? Uh, it feels good. Last time I headlined, I lost, but I'm going to win this time. And you're coming off uh, two straight losses, but the last one was very controversial. A lot of people who, whose opinion I trust, even here, felt that you won that fight by at least two rounds. Are you coming off of the fight like it was a victory, or how are you treating the last fight, or is it just motivation? It's just motivation because they said if I, I stay winning, if I start winning now, I might get a rematch with them, so that's my motivation. Yeah. So the rematch isn't guaranteed yet, or maybe for the uh, next not fight? Yes, I win. Yeah. So. so if uh, this card, there's a lot of popular names here out of the state of New Mexico. You got uh, Christian Cabral, Brandy Montoya and even the Crispines on this card. How does it feel to be on such a loaded card? Well, it's a great card. There's a lot of great fights. Uh, Christian and Mike Gallegos. Mike Gallegos is an underrated fighter. And Christian's tough too, so it's going to be a good fight. Um, it's going to go decision, I think. And then uh, Brandy's a great fighter. Amanda Spartuni, too, is a great fighter. Um, I'm not sure who's on, else on the card. I think that's it. But, oh, and uh, Weddle. Mm -hmm. Jose yeah. Luis, yeah. he said second fight. And, uh, yeah, yeah. You know. he, he has a pretty good fight. They say I guess tough. I seen his debut. I thought he had won, but yeah. Yeah. So uh, definitely a loaded card. As uh, far as you, uh, are you looking for any other fights here within the area, or do you think you'll go out to California for your next fight? Well, I'm supposed to get two fights here, mm -hmm. but I'm just taking one fight at a time. Uh, get past this one. And then go on to the next one, but I'm just taking one fight at a time. Yeah. So when it comes to the Titsworth fighter here that you're going, uh, you're fighting, you're laughing at his name already, man. <laughs> I think a lot of people, I think I saw him on ESPN and they were cracking up at his joke, at his uh, name also. I mean, he's a tall, lanky fighter. Uh, how do you feel that you deal with those type of fighters? Uh, when I first started boxing growing up, I always fought taller fighters until now that I get a little older than I fight guys more my size, but I'm used to fighting taller fighters. I've been sparring with guys like 6'2", six, 6'3", six, so I'm ready. Yeah. So again, it's October 27th, Kiva Auditorium. Saturday Night Fights at the Kiva. Where can people get in touch with you online, man? Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Chisco Kid, or follow uh, our Facebook, Fidel Maldonado Jr., or the fan page, Fidel Chisco Kid Maldonado Jr. All right, man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you.